Hi, this is Mon Raz and you are listening to my daily thoughts number 15. Today's reflections are about MMORPG versus MPFSC. It is fascinating how much dedication and personal effort online players can come up with. 24 hours a day online just don't seem enough to get everything done. No longer is it only reserved for the young ones. No way. One can find MMORPG enthusiasts from almost every age group and social level, left and right clicking the mouse. MMORPG, Massive, Multiplayer, Online, Role Playing Games are they called. Wow, the top one has well above 10 million accounts. This truly is amazing. And once you are hooked, you leave console games in the drawer, turn TV and radio off and focus on your high-res computer screen to level up your online character as quickly as you can. This raises a lot of questions, beginning with the one why we get hooked. If you haven't tried any of these games yet, you might want to skip the next few minutes of this session because you need to have it played for a week or two before you can fully understand how it works and why you can't get enough of it. Well, one partial answer is quickly served. You can't get enough of it for obvious reasons, because the developers build it the way that there is no top no maximum, no end. What in WoW was level 50, as highest level you can reach a few years back, now is level 80 and I'm not sure if they actually will stop at level 100, what was probably the initial endpoint target of that game. But I think there is more than just the carrot stick approach to that question. Put yourself in the position of a child with muscular dystrophy, for instance. Imagine you cannot walk or run and have to be sitting in the wheelchair from a.m. to p.m. This game is like a gift from heaven. Almost everything this human being cannot do IRL, that means in real life, he or she is able to perform online. Running, jumping, fighting, riding, flying, cooking, fishing, dancing and many more bodily actions. But it doesn't stop here. Via his online character, this person can do quests, make friends, learn professions, even earn achievements. Although physically to more than 80% disabled, the handicapped person can live a normal online life. Yes, it's nothing more than bits and bytes, some will say. However, these images are from within a 3D world and are very similar to the real world ones. Give it a few more years of development in technology and our brain will have a hard time telling which world is the real one. Living in either world for the brain apparently doesn't matter too much. At the end the physically impaired person can live a much happier life. Real life that is, since his online activities and achievements are comparable to online ones of normal persons. But back to our questions, why are we so easily hooked by these 3D online games? We have the carrot stick for one, then the online world experience for physically handicapped for two, but what makes a normal person seek that artificial world so much? It would be interesting to hear what the head developers of these games have to say. They were certainly surprised by the initial Uber takeoff of their software. Was all that planned for? I would not be astonished if it wasn't. My guess is that with the initial success came the analysis and based on that data development towards what people are looking for. WOW in one of the recent upgrades introduced a lot of statistics along with the display of the many achievements that can be earned. Achievements? Hmm, is that the key? Achievements cause satisfaction. Do we like being part of a computer-created world because we, like the physical handicapped, can get achievements that we cannot get or cannot get any more in real life? When things were bad in the old world, hundreds of years ago, people fled that world in the hope of finding or conquering a better one elsewhere. Does our MPSFC world money, power, status, fame and control that is, 
invoke the same feeling in us that make us flee our actual world for one that is hopefully different and better where we can start all over and achieve what we are looking for? The only problem nowadays is that Earth is round and has run out of conquerable space. So now we conquer whatever space we find, even if it is hard disk space. Apparently we have an internal drive to achieve things, want to reach goals. Any goals or specific goals? Goals that we set or are set for us? Not easy to answer, but isn't it strange that the pure fact of not having reached a higher online character's level makes us play overtime until we have completed it? And then, when we are that high level, do we appreciate being there? For a little while and then we get bored and want to reach the next level. The situation is, in real life, more or less the same. The road towards a goal any goal, material or not, is interesting one. Having reached it, after a while, makes us want more. Always more, always more of MPSFC. Are there any goals at all where we would stay satisfied all the time, once we have reached them? MPSFC goals? Certainly not. Even world records would make us happy only as long as they are not broken. But there must be some, or at least one, that would put us in a state of never-ending satisfaction. Having found the right partner and brought children into this world, and having raised them in a better way oneself has been raised, would be an all-time satisfaction, at least for me. Or, having learned something from life so I don't make the same mistake in this or maybe a next life, would be another achievement of the eternal kind. But again, I can only speak for me. Is there any other achievement that could guarantee us satisfaction forever? Maybe one more what we like to see in movies, when someone sacrifices his or her life for a better cause. However, it would need to be seen if the satisfaction could be shared by the sacrificed one. It boils down as today's conclusion that achievements of the spiritual kind are those which cannot be taken away from us and provide for long, maybe everlasting satisfaction. For today, I thank you for your time. May the higher spirit help us evolve. Until the next daily thoughts, yours truly, Mon Ras. And today's post-lectum is... Why was today's session called MMORPG vs. MPSFC? How do these two realms differ from each other, except that everybody in WoW can get rich and to a level of 80? If you want to find out what the real difference is, why these games are so successful, you only need to picture how these games would be if your character could live only once. <laughs>